with your jungler with Hecarim and follow up on any sort of pick uh, and create a big jungle uh, advantage there for the Hecarim side. All right, so as the draft fudge is six, this is the timing, this is the gank timing. Alfari should not be six in time. Get the big stun, get the combo off. Here he goes, pops it, gets the stun. Big damage in from Blabber. Can they deny level six? Yes, they can. That is how you coordinate a top dive, but be careful because Centaurin's back, but he pulls in Blabber, not Fudge. He auto attacked the wrong champion. And Flash Fudge on made... bottom side as well on the side of Team Liquid. Then Cloud9 can transition some of their focus. Meanwhile, though, Santorin wants perks. Can he find the way out? Gets to steal the Hecra multi, gets dove anyway, and it's gonna just be enough, but he gets the trade kill. Perks making the best of a bad situation, trying to one jungle around. or in that brush, so I am out. So, first Herald went to the way of Cloud9. First Dragon gonna go to them as well. Mid lane's now fighting. Perks has an Ari ultimate and just dashes backwards, has been ignited. Says, well, you know what? Whatever, we're fine. Oh, goes for the plague. Got a nice little heal. Alistair, Hex Flash, almost in range, headbutt pulverize, but right there, Santorin's in! Can he turn it around? So far, no, as Vulcan took the turret. Blabber next, and Perch has W back up. There is no play for Santorin, the counter gank means nothing, and Cloud9 are up 3-1. to one. And again, so many objectives for Cloud9. Bottom side is going to be a 2v1, though. Can't spend... Cleanses, gonna look for the slow, look for the ulti. Eventually wants to flash in reaction to the ultimate, and it's gonna be aimed! Oh. Whoa! Beautifully oh, done by Core JJ. Tactical claims the kill. Five head Core JJ right there predicts it. Able to lock him down with the Seraphine ultimate, and the action just don't stop, freak. Dive again. Alfari has ulti, so you cannot get below one third, or you die to the ultimate unless you kill him in time. So there's the dive, there's the stun. <laughs> there is absolutely no counterplay. Well, with how well Team Liquid have done throughout this split in the early game. C9 drafted very heavily for it on top of Rise and can bring to the team. It's just not going to do that <laughs> same kind of stuff. So, you know, Team Liquid hoping the end game can get here, but right now we're just Infinity War, and I mean, right now it's another kill to the top side. Alfari, the ult's not going to matter. Perks brings it to him instead. On the side of Team Liquid. All that being said, though, should sustain full control here. Second like Herald, now. not even a problem. That's his own Everfrost as well, by the way. Night uh, Harvest they do have some setup on Dragon. Here we go, Fear comes across, Blabber gonna find himself a single root in the stun as well, Santorin cannot survive, and Fudge Stride breaks four. Gets a single stun, Charm hits only one champion, and the tower dive comes in for Cloud9. Two for zero to start, cannot quite find the rest, True Shot Barrage nearly lands, thanks to Perks, but Blabber is still on the hunt. Can he find the skill shots? Not just yet, they're gonna take down mid lane outer turret, just like they wanted to all along. And now it's gonna take away some points. Dragon. Uh, you want to kill this Cloud Drake as quick as possible. So oh, next one is to point. them. Bottom lane now going to be the last outer turret to fall. Cloud9 have taken all three. This Back is the old almost AP Ezreal uh, levels. And the Qs as well really have to be avoided by Cloud9. All right now there's a lack of sweepers. Only two on the side of Cloud9. And Vulcan never pops his. So oh. stood. They got to find some type of play. Solo Gromp steal, not worth. That's going to give over Baron Perks. to D9. Perks is also Hecarim. Just depends on how much he wants to lose his life. Eats the honey fruit, but he's down to 1k. Has to be respectful. No smite available on TL. Vulcan over the wall. It's actually the entire squad going in for the play. Fudge getting a bit low. You cannot stride breaker walls. I am 99% certain. So Fudge is going to lose his life, but oh, smited to 1 HP. A miss smite, but a kill in the end. Well, Cloud9. <laughs> Trade ultimately one for one and get themselves the no, Baron. Honestly, you can see Alfari is like, yeah, no, it's Baron buff. Tier two's yours. See ya. We'll uh, we'll defend something else down the line. Eight thousand now the gold lead. Full fog of war. No way to lose this one. Good, good job by Cloud Nine. You can even save your smite if you want to. He doesn't. Fair, fair enough. Here Don't go. Need. Will there be a bit of a dive? Perks is going to be rooted. Is there a turn? Not onto him though. Mid under fire, Charm does not matter on Alistair. Ult's in, Headbutt Pulp comes across, the Fear. They're gonna try to knock down the horse and they will pick him up. The Charm, the Root, a lot of damage coming across, but not yeah, enough. They want to draw Team Liquid uh -oh. out. Jensen is out. Uh, he's gonna have to Ooh. use all three ult charges and still might die. Headbutt Pulp gets the auto attack stun as well. Perk steals Ariel just to make sure he can't get away. I'm not sure that Zonia's means anything. It's a two minute cooldown, which is probably... Oh, so. Yep, uh, and you love to see that as Cloud9. You're like, this is like the happiest Ezolt you've ever seen. It's like, okay, it's down. It's absolutely free. Smites at 3,000, Rens at 1,500. Cool. Yep, I'm I like the mid that. wave though. Cloud9 usher up that mid wave, and that's going to be this tower taking a beating. Team Liquid have to make the last stand now. Charm going to land, saves, cleanse, headbutt, pull, hits three. No re engage. Uh oh. 
Nice pullback there, saving Alistair away from Alfari's engage. And now the re-engage could be enough. Alfari does knock down Vulcan in the end and stays alive. Hecarim dive into the Ooh. back level, can't get enough either. A pair of shutdowns go over and Team Liquid fight for free. But maybe while you're hitting the dragon, we can try. Yeah, but Centaurin's getting bullied off. This rend is free. And now with Elder Dragon on, TL took too long to choose to fight. The charm might land, but the one from Jensen won't, and it's not going to matter. Volk to the back line. Double kill already for Perks. Ven's going to throw an Alistair for a bit more. Easy Dive comes across. Already four kills. How far he left alone? He's going to drop as well. The Bud Light A's for Cloud9. Not a problem. 15,000 gold in a game. One win goes the way the underdogs you might consider as Cloud9 will take down Team Liquid the first. Cloud9 heard you were talking about early games, so they slammed down Redected, Nidalee, Callista, Alistar, and they steamroll that early game. Big, big stuff in the opening game of the winner bracket finals. Cloud.